morning, Dave. Um, I'm doing um, a uh, video response to uh, to Dave's uh, five favorite uh, villain uh, question. And I was playing Elite, and um, I'm still exploring in Elite. So, uh, and uh, exploring is boring. I can tell you that. So. While I was exploring, I thought, well, why not do a um, do a little response to today's video? Because I've been thinking about my favorite villains, and uh, it, uh, it's it's pretty difficult actually to find uh, favorite villains um, because some games don't even have villains really, uh, and and some villains. Uh, I'm not even sure that they classify as a villain, so I just I just picked a couple that have been with me for a long time, and number one has to be uh, Crazy Kong from uh, from Crazy Kong. Now, uh, some or well, probably all of you will prefer the name Donkey Kong. Um, but I grew up with him as Crazy Kong because I played the um, uh, uh, the Falcon game, which was actually an officially licensed um, what do you call it modification, really, uh, in Europe. It was uh, published by Falcon, and we had a cabinet. It was the first, the very first cabinet that I ever saw. Uh, and I've t I've told this story before, so. But that that Kong uh, guy who takes the princess, I, I guess that's Princess Peach, right? Um, and he takes her and uh, Mario chases her. That's basically the whole game. Uh, but I like, uh, you know, the rivet level where you where Mario runs across the, the beams and removes the rivets. And then the building collapses and, and uh, the, the monkey falls down. There's a text in the screen, and instead of saying "Oh shit," you know, there I go, or what? Now he says, while he's falling and while he's breaking his teeth on the, you know, on the on the beams that are on the floor, he says, "Give up." <laughs> he tells you to give up. <laughs> so, um, I thought that was really funny, and that image of of you know that monkey basically is uh, set the. Uh, was that maybe one of the first real villains? I mean, Space Invaders had uh, enemies, but are they villains? You know, uh, I don't know. This this uh, this is one of the first times that uh, a game actually presented a character as uh, the main enemy, so uh, or the main villain basically, because you never fight him directly in the game, do you? You just uh, try to take the girl from him snatch the girl from under his nose but that's what you're doing um the second favorite villain uh is another one that's been with me but i've never seen no one's ever seen him and you can't because he's only a voice and that is the guy from impossible mission on the commodore 64. you know the guy that says uh another visitor stay a while stay forever that synthesized voice that is basically the professor whose house you're in you know yeah he has a pretty big house with with and, and you have to do stuff to uh, you know, collect puzzle pieces and that kind of thing but that guy I've that, he's always been in my mind during uh, you know gameplay uh, because I, I always had the feeling that I was in his place uh, uh, but he was never there he was never home but he was there we could because he could see you when he was talking to you, so that must be one of the villains that has been with me for the longest time. I've never beaten him. I've I've seen a a playthrough of it, and you can beat the game in like twenty five minutes, uh, but it's it's really hard. Then um, another, which is not basic. This this is not one enemy, but two. But uh, they they come as a set. So, and they are the uh, number three. My number three villain is. Um, uh, the green and the black guy from Bruce Lee. So the black ninja and the green sam. Uh, what is it? Is a sumo, I guess. And this is just. 
they're not very tough enemies, but they respawn all the time, you know, and they're there all the time just to annoy you. And just at the right moment, you know, they'll give you a push or or or, or they'll kick you in your ass, and uh, you'll be shoved off a ledge or something and die. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but the funny thing is, it, 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 they're also a comic duo because they fight each other, <laughs> which is funny. Um, uh, so they're not hard to beat, but they just follow you through 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 the entire game, and uh, they're with you basically. So you know, they're also a sort of a travel companion set. And um, I saw a video of someone who'd made 3D models of them, uh, which is really funny. So uh, actually, they're like. A comic duo villain set uh, that we should all cherish. Uh, then another one, which is uh, you know a little bit more dramatic and and maybe not uh, a single villain, uh, but you can pick any one. Uh, is the Colossi from Shadow of the Colossus, uh, which uh, to be honest, you fight them throughout the entire game to save the girl that you uh, offered to the to the gods. Uh, you know the story is that the uh, that there are gods who can uh, give back life to the dead. So you bring your dead girlfriend, and uh, the gods say, "Oh, okay. So you want us to give you uh, uh, your girlfriend back? Uh, you'll have to beat the colossi." So you go out, you play the entire game, and 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 kick the the colossi's ass, says, because there are several. Um, but then in the end of the game, really, you, uh, which I've never seen, by the way, but I've been told this, uh, that, um, and I had a suspicion of that, that the Colossi aren't actually your enemy. They are just walking around there, and you show up and start kicking them, and they defend themselves. That is basically what the game is, but if you don't pay attention, you just start killing these Colossi, and, and in the end, you find out that the gods are actually the evil ones, and the Colossi are basically on your side. So... I sort of feel sorry for uh, uh, enemy, um, uh, but that really got me. So that's uh, that's one of my that's my number four, and my number five. Uh, I, I had a, a you know a real trouble finding another one, uh, but I chose Wario, and um, of course Wario has turned into a character that you can play. Even you know he has his own uh, game, so that makes him less of. A villain but you know we have to remember that he started out as a villain and um, what I find funny about him especially in in Mario Kart I don't know if he does that in other games but uh, when he uh, in Mario Kart you know when he when he drops a, a banana or or some or something to annoy you <laughs> he'll, or, or, or when he wins He'll come by and yell, losers, you know, and I find that funny because he's a socially, uh, you know, maybe a little bit clumsy, <laughs> is that the right word? Uh, but that's why I like Wario. He's a villain and he's bad, but, you know, he doesn't try to be or something. I, I don't know, he's just uh, maybe a little bit like me. I, I, I like Wario, he's one of my favorites. Uh, and, and he's still still an enemy, even though he has his own game, and he's still a villain uh, in my mind. No matter what he does, you know, you can give him his own game franchise, but he'll still be like a bad guy. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's a little rough around the edges. Uh, so that's my five, Dave. Uh, Kong, uh, the guy from Impossible Mission, who has no name, uh, but a very cool voice. Uh, the green and the black uh, guy from Bruce Lee. Uh, the Colossi and Wario. I'm going to go back to uh, uh, to Elite here, and uh, I'll say goodbye. See? Bye.